Welcome to the University of Rochester's Pathology video series. This video provides a brief overview of serous borderline ovarian tumors. Before we begin, we'd like to acknowledge some terminology that you may hear or see in the presentation. Borderline ovarian tumor is synonymous with atypical proliferative tumor, and the subtype being discussed today can be called a serous borderline tumor or atypical proliferative serous tumor. A borderline ovarian tumor, or BOT, is relatively uncommon epithelial ov ovarian neoplasm, characterized by increased cellular proliferation and the presence of slight nuclear tibia, but without destructive stromal invasion. There are six histologic subtypes of BOTs, which are distinguished based on the epithelial cell type. Serous, mucinous, endometrioid, clear cell, seromucinous, borderline Brenner. Here we are discussing the most common type, serous. As their name implies, borderline tumors fall in the gray zone between benign and malignant. There is some controversy about the malignant potential of BOTs. Although BOTs mostly act in a benign behavior, they can be associated with features of malignancy like microinvasion and lymph node involvement. Whether or not borderline ovarian tumor will act in a more aggressive fashion depends on a number of factors, including the presence and the type of extra ovarian disease or implant status, degree of invasion, and architectural complexity. Borderline ovarian tumors comprise about 15 to 20 percent of all epithelial ovarian malignancies with an incidence of 1.8 to 4.8 per 100,000 women per year. Patients with borderline ovarian tumors are typically be between the ages of 16 and 82. There is no agreement on any significant differences in ethnic groups. The BRAF and KRAS mutations appear to be common in both ovarian APSTs and in early stage ovarian LGSCs. However, BRAF mutations in ovarian APSTs do not appear to be as commonly associated with BOT recurrence as LGSC as opposed to KRAS mutations, which are more commonly seen in ovarian APSTs that recur as LGSC. A BOT is not likely to be clinically detected until it is advanced in size and associated with abdominal symptoms, including abdominal pain and increasing girth or abdominal distension. Many women are asymptomatic. On gross pathological examination, serous BOTs can be seen as a single cyst also known as unilocular, or have multiple cysts or multilocular. About one-third of patients have bilateral BOTs. Here we can see serous BOT, with, uh, which is multi multilocular with cystic fluid and, and papillary projections. When looking at serous BOTs histologically, you will notice that they have branching papilla and pseudopapilla looking like a tree. The cells like, uh, lining these branches are complex epithelial proliferations. The top left photo shows the, uh, the tree-like architecture. In the bottom left photo, the epithelial cells can be seen in, uh, here, and they resemble the cells of the fallopian tube, the bottom right photo. The cells uh, have mild to moderate nuclear atypia with hyperchromasia or darkened nuclei, and many layers of epithelial cells. A large majority of BOT are confined to the ovaries and are stages FIGO stage 1, typically with a good prognosis including a 10-year survival rate of 97%. We have included the entire staging chart as reference. Surgical resection is often the only treatment necessary. Conservative surgeries attempt to preserve fertility. Radical surgeries remove both ovaries. Recurrence after surgery is rare. Thank you for listening.